Welcome back to the course LTE System Overview. Now we are talking about Chapter 2, Air Interface Principles. Chapter 2 is divided into five subchapters. The first one is Principles of OFDM. Then we will talk about multiple access and duplex technologies and carrier frequency and EAR FCN. And the last two subchapters are called LTE Frame Structure and LTE Physical Channel. So let's start with OFDM. OFDM is a division multiplexing te technology and this means that it is a technology that is used to divert different users within one cell. In mobile radio we always have more than one UE in one cell and this means that we have to divert them on the station and to make sure that every user gets his voice or data stream. In LTE this division multiplexing technology is OFDM. In downlink it is called OFDMA. In uplink it is SCFDMA because here we have lower processing power in the UE and therefore we have to make sure that we here use a so-called single carrier FDMA. We will see what the difference is. Different multiple multiplexing technologies are depicted here. For example in GSM we are using FDM and TDM. FDM means frequency division multiplex and there every user gets a certain subband of the used frequency. In GSM, for example, every user has 200 kilohertz to send and receive. In GSM, also these 200 kilohertz subbands are then divided in certain time slots. So also in the time domain, different users get different time slots and are then diverted or sent and receive after each other. The user does not realize this. A third one that is used in 3G mainly is code division multiple access. Here all the users are sending and receiving on the same frequency, on the full frequency, but they are diverted by different codes. This is for example UMTS, but there are also 2G technologies like CDMA1 which are using CDMA, as the name already says. In terms of UMTS, a so-called wideband CDMA technology is used. But what does OFDM now mean? OFDM, the O stands for orthogonal frequency division multiplexing. This means that the different FDM carriers are more closely put together. In FDM, between the subcarriers, we have so-called guard bands, so that the different subcarriers are not disturbing or interfering the other one. In OFDM, this guard band is limited to a very, very short band, and even the subcarriers are orthogonal to each other. So they are still not interfering, and we can use the spectrum with a higher efficiency. This is possible by a so-called fast Fourier transformation. This is a very complex mathematical process and it is done in the sender and the receiver. So the sender, for example, uses the so-called inverse fast Fourier transformation so that the modulated subcarrier are mathematically transformed and then sent over the air to the receiver. The receiver on the other end of the tunnel recalculates this very complex wave structure by the so-called fast Fourier transformation, so the whole process vice versa, can demodulate the subcarriers and then in the end decode the coded bits. So far for the OFDM overview, thank you for watching.